everybody welcome back it's me in my chair again sitting here talking to you my name's Michelle and you're watching real life with Michelle let's talk about what your kids are watching on YouTube I watch a lot of YouTube and I don't know if you know what your kids are watching I know what's out there because I spend a lot of time watching YouTube but I realize that YouTube is, you know, giving your kids an iPad, giving your kids an iPad and sitting them down on the couch or sending them to bed with them, you know, is a great way to distract them. It's a great way to entertain them. It's a great way for you to get something done. But do you really know what they're watching? I do. Because I watch YouTube. Now this goes for, I would say, kids that aren't watching the YouTube kids because those shows are okay you know YouTube YouTube is monitor they're monitoring the the kids YouTube kids channel and they're changing the rules about it actually December 10th I believe it starts there the the kid content is going to be like no special kind of ads no comments on the videos and if a creator doesn't follow any of their guidelines they're they're they could be sued a hefty fine I'm talking four thousand dollars or over per video so I know on my the videos that I'm making now I have to if the if my grandkids are in them I have to specifically mark them for kids so you'll see my videos maybe won't come up in your notifications I believe and there won't be comments on those videos but that's to keep it safer for the kids. Now on the videos like I do now where I'm just talking with you and my grandkids aren't around, I don't have to mark them for kids because of course the kids aren't in them. But I'm talking about maybe the 10, 12, 9, 10, 12 ages and older. What You know what they're watching? I know a lot of kids watch Jake and Logan Paul. And... I don't know if you've seen any of their content, but it doesn't, it doesn't, they're not teaching kids morals. They don't teach kids how to re be responsible. What they're teaching your kids is you need to have all the diamonds and the cars. They have fancy cars and the, the need for possessions. They're teaching them you need possessions and you need expensive possessions like Gucci and Prada and all of the name brand I know my great my granddaughter she you know she just turned eight my daughter was taking her school shopping and she's like she asked my daughter well can we go to justice and then to Gucci she's eight years old eight years old an eight-year-old child shouldn't know about Gucci that, that's my just personal opinion you know unless you're a billionaire and you know that's what you buy for your kids fine but a normal family American family living on a budget shouldn't know about Gucci shouldn't know about all these expensive things and the you know want those expensive things something else that you know a lot of the youtubers are doing they're they're rude to people in public I know I've seen videos where they go in stores and they make fun of older people you know, they'll put the camera on the older person and the older person not seeing it. And they just make fun of them. Whatever they're doing or their age or, you know, they'll put funny graphics around this old person. They're, you know, so how is that respecting your elders? I don't know. It's not. You know, it's not. The other thing they do is they pull pranks. They pull pranks on people that actually hurt people's feelings or you know actually will could hurt somebody and they think it's okay you know I don't think that's I don't think that's okay you shouldn't pranks some pranks are funny you know if they're clean true funny pranks that's great you know like my little grandson I did a video with him on the phone and so he's never seen a house phone before and he I called it from my, my cell phone to my mom and dad's house phone and he answered it and he's like, 
what is this thing? What is this thing? And it was just, it, that was a cute, funny thing to do. Well, some of these pranks they pull, they, they're, you know, blowing horns and tearing down walls. And, you know, I've seen somebody actually take a sledgehammer and pound down a whole bedroom wall. And just thinking it was funny. And they woke up and it's like, hey, where, where'd my room go? Well, that's destruction of property, you know. They're, so, what? that's what they're learning. So, be careful what your kids are watching. There are good channels out there. I know, like, I watch Roman Atwood. He He's from Ohio, a vlogger from Ohio. And he has family content, and it's good that is really good there's like eight passengers i don't know if you've ever seen them they're good and the fry life i love watching the fry life that is a wife she has cystic fibrosis and the husband is a pastor well he recently had to move from his church because his wife has cystic fibrosis and she's close to a lung transplant now and just watching them he is his, her caregiver so they've moved to, I, th I think, where it's uh, by Duke University Hospital, and they're they're good. They're they're wholesome, good people to watch. You know, so I do watch a lot of YouTube, and there is good YouTube creators out there. So what do you watch on YouTube? You know, or what do your kids watch on YouTube? If you watch any good channels that I might like comment them below because I have a lot of time on my hands a lot of time when my fibromyalgia is bad or my chronic fatigue is bad and I'm laying in bed that's when I watch it I mean I don't just watch it when I'm when I've stuff to do and I feel good it's when I'm not feeling good and laying in bed so if you have any channels that you watch comment them below because I'm interested my cousin has a YouTube channel. I don't know if any of you are interested in cars, but he works on cars and... Here it is. Can you see that? He has... He posts videos and cars and it's kind of cool watching him. In fact, he kind of looks like... He kind of looks like my brother. So, and he just had a new baby. Congratulations to him. But... Know what your kids are watching. Go through their history, their YouTube history, and ask them questions. Who is this? What do they do? Let's watch a, watch a video together. Watch one or two videos together that you pick, not that they pick, and see what they're watching out there. All right. If you like my video, subscribe. And uh, come back for more. Who knows what I'll find next. Bye.